Hello and welcome to the Yogs. Okay, okay, fine. Um, welcome back. We're here on my Chernobyl map, and we are going to be making the the second part of our um, of our nuclear reactor, our beautiful nuclear reactor. So I went ahead and took the liberty of building us a little uh, house here. I took the liberty of taking a short power nap. You took a power nap. All right. 30, 30 seconds. You don't do anything, you're just, you're just watching, you're just here for the ride. So, basically all you need is a 7x7, seven seven. no, you need like a 9x9, nine nine. You, you need to have at least 7 blocks on the Almost wall back here. Almost just a heads up. <laughs> you need to have at least 9 blocks, or 7 blocks on the back, so that means you have to have 2 blocks on the end, that means that equals out to the 9x9, nine, nine nine. so it needs to be at least 9x9, nine nine. and uh, you need to b break out 5 blocks in the, in the center, uh, this is where the lights will go. And then you have to have two blocks behind it so that um, you can get some, so you can have the transceivers and, or the receivers and the, well, transmitters, that's what it's called. Yeah, I knew that. All right, um, so first what we need to do is we need to build our remote thermal, thermal monitors. Those are probably the, one of the most important things in this. So what you want to do is, I'm just going to, Yes, this is the center. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I usually keep mine at five. You could have like twenty if you wanted to, but that means you have to build your house bigger. So, what you want to do is you want to get some of these, some uh, transmitters. You want to put them right on top of this thing, and you can have you can set them to anything you want. I'm just gonna have them um, set to pre to preset things. So, monitor three. Um, let no. Okay, monitor 5, uh, that'll be on frequency 50, oh, as you can see I have to kind of multiply it by 10 for each one, and then uh, monitor uh, 10. So, basically, what you're going to do is, what I usually do is I set one at 100, I set one at 300, 500, 700, and 1000, because I don't want that. If your if your thing's getting over one thousand, it's probably not the best. Um, so wait, now what you want to do is, and so that you can these have to be powered at all times. So you want to make sure that they don't explode when you when you power them from your nuclear reactor. So you kind of you have to you're gonna have to convert them to a different form of energy, which uh, which is going to be uh, low voltage. So I like I like to wrap mine around on both sides instead of just having it go around on one side because I hate asymmetricality entirely. So you want to start here. You want to take your high voltage transformer, as in high voltage, medium voltage, and low voltage. You want to take that. No, take the three dotted side and put it put it on put it where the where the high voltage is coming in. Then um, put it one more there. Take the medium voltage, three dotted side is where the high voltage goes, or the medium high voltage, whatever. The thing goes into the thing, and then you put another one down, and then the uh, low voltage goes here. Um, then you want to just uh, wire up all of these things right hard, and then, uh, uh, wait, no. Uh, and then just put the same on the other side, so let's do that. Do, 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 do. Do and then high voltage. Uh, not that. Uh, then uh, medium voltage. And finally, the low voltage. And bam, that is how you're gonna keep those powered. Now, this is important. You need to have these things, which is called a remote sensor kit, and you need to go up to this thing, and then you need to click on it. Right click it. Then you'll get this thing, which is called a sensor location card. You put this thing right in this slot here, and that will keep it linked to your to your specific nuclear reactor. So you need a couple of those. Um, you need a you need a few. Uh, I, you need five exactly, to be honest. So there's 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 no really there's no mystery as to how many you need, but. You know, just, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not out of breath, I'm just talking like I'm out of breath because I'm, I'm, a, I'm cool like that. That's, if you ever seen Captain Sparkles, he does that kind of, even though he's not really, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, 
was that was weird. I hate I hate the sound mod. I it's okay at some parts. Like you know you can hear the frogs in the background when it's nighttime or sunset, and you can hear the birds. But when you're like getting into water, it's like it's like a freaking creeper explosion. Gosh. All right. So. Um, now that that is going to be powered, I'm not even going to turn this on, thing on yet, because that's like a whole other video in itself, trying to get that set up. So, um, now you want to get your, uh, ring of jigs. You don't need any of this crap anymore. Well, oh dang, actually, you do need both of those things. I just threw away, like, everything that I did need, wireless stuff. Um, so, you don't need that, you don't need that, you don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I'll take that. I'll keep, no, I'll keep, I don't even need that. Alright, so now you want to get some uh, lamps. Lamp. Okay. So, I usually stick with a blue, a light blue, a yellow, an orange, and a red. And then I just place those in that order. Blue, light blue, yellow, orange, and red. How, how nice. Nice and color-coded. Alright, so... You want to put your uh, receivers here, 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 on all the platforms, you know, obviously. Uh, and, um, yes. I think I actually might need to move these over one so I can fit the kill switch in here. I can put the kill switch in a different wall, who cares? Alright, um, then what I usually do is I get the same colored insulated wires. Uh, so, blue, light blue. Uh, yellow, orange, and red, and Greer's dead on the floor. Um, blue, yellow, orange, and red, and then, um, you know, set it to all the same, uh, monitor one, monitor three, monitor five, seven, and ten. All right, so now we have that. Actually, oh wait, this <laughs> this is gonna be hooked up to that too. I can't, I can't have that. I'm gonna have to delete all these, um, except for the kill switch. I, don't, I want that to stay the same. So, um, so now when this thing rises in temperature, the uh, the nuclear reactor, all of these things will then uh, signal to through these things, these, these uh, transmitters, and then it'll, it'll be caught in the receivers, and it will, uh, you know, turn on the lights. It'll tell you how when to turn it off. All right, so next let's build the kill s I hate that noise. Okay. Let's build the kill switch. Uh, this is the only one that's gonna have the receiver on the inside. And you wanna get some red alloy wire, I think it's called, yeah. And then, um, you want to dupe and dupe and dupe. Alright, so now you want to have it climbing up the wall so that it's touching that end because that way um, it will basically um, nuclear reactors shut off when you give them a redstone signal and so um, and then they'll, and then they'll, um, they'll turn back on when you stop the redstone signal. So uh, let's just set this to. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking loud. Okay, so let's set that to 66 as our, um, as our thingamajig, uh, a number, because I already had that one on 666. I call it, I just do 66 because that's like an apocalypse now, or apocalypse, yeah, um, so. Okay, now we just want some more, uh, reinforced iron, because I like, I like, it's pretty, that's a good, it's a good building block. Alright, so, um, let's put the kill switch... We can put it anywhere, really. We could put it like right in the center. We could have it. I'm just gonna put it on this wall for now. I mean, you can, um, if you want to, tap it all on one wall, like I did on the other one. You can just scoot all these down to here, and have the blue one start there, and the red one end here, and then have the uh, lever right there. But I prefer to uh, keep this here. So I'm gonna get the lever. Lever. Bam. And then uh, put the lever right there. Get some, uh, get some of this, right, and then, um, get some more red alloy wire, I don't need any of these anymore, so you can just toss those, I don't want that either, I want that less effect, 
to red alloy. And then, um, boop, beep, hook that up to the wall. And then, bang. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll do it, I think. So let's see. Um, click that lever. That'll turn on 66. And then that should be on too. Alright, so now that that's on. Um, oof, I don't know if I, I don't want to start that yet, so. Um, you might have noticed this thing here. That's that's nothing important yet. Uh, that's just where the power, most of the power is going to go. Um, so. Uh, I just I just built this uh, MFSU here so that um, it can absorb extra power so I can have two of these hooked up to that and then that way I won't ever like explode just because I have too much power going into anywhere. So there you go. Um, that's how you build uh, just like this half of the um, or the you know the base and the uh, the uh, temperature monitors um, so that way. You know when it's about to explode, because that's never a good thing. Um, if you want to, and this is always really cool, I always love doing this. Um, I usually hook up this one, I take this down to there, and I uh, I put another red, I put a little red alloy there, and then I get the howler alarm, or you know the other, I don't know how the other, how the other alarm works, but you get the howler, and then when you hook it up to that, uh, when <coughs> keep it as far as possible so you can hear it at all times. When it gets to a thousand heat, then it starts sounding this alarm and that way um, you won't have, it will, uh, you know, you'll know to run back to base, hit the kill switch as fast as possible. Alright, so I think that'll do it for this video. Um, yeah. This, uh, I'm a Kyle scientist from Operation Brown Town and uh, this is us signing off. Bye.